We've all heard of the four C's, particularly when it comes to the valuation of diamonds, but what are the three C's, and men in particular, how is it important to your health? Well, Dr. Dawson and Scott join us live to tell us more about the three C's. Welcome to Get Connected. Good morning, Con. Morning, Con. Well, we'll start with the ladies. Dr. Dawson, welcome. What is the message about prostate cancer today? Well, I think there's a couple of messages today, but one is that uh, men should actually be seeking, be seeking out early diagnosis of prostate cancer uh, to get screened early when it's the most curable and also to not be afraid of being diagnosed with prostate cancer um, even if it recurs or is spread because there are multiple new therapies available for our men uh, that can make them live a much longer life. I'm curious, tell us a little bit more about these therapies. We have new therapies like immune therapies, uh, we have a new chemotherapy drug called Givtana. Uh, we have some new hormonal therapies, and our men are having longer lives and better quality of lives. All right, Scott, we teased it at the beginning, but tell us what are the three C's? Sure, yeah, the three C's are all about men taking a more proactive role in their health, and specific, specifically around prostate cancer. The first is uh, communicating as their prostate cancer advances. The second is consulting with the healthcare team, and the third is really considering all of their options. And that's really what Dr. Dawson was just highlighting. And th this is really the perfect time to be talking about prostate cancer. September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. So it's, it's a great opportunity for us as advocates, as healthcare providers, to really shine a light on this disease that one in six men in a lifetime are gonna develop. Doctor, I'm just curious, how do us men get screened? It's not that hard. Um, all it involves is getting a blood test, something called a, a PSA, Prostate Specific Antigen Test, and a digital rectal exam uh, where a doctor actually feels the prostate gland and makes sure there's no lumps on it or anything that might be suspicious for cancer. You know, Scott, I love your enthusiasm. Where did you get your passion for this subject? Yeah, you know, as a, a men's health advocate, I, for me, it's, it's all about informing men that uh, they need to take better care of themselves. It really, it, one of our board members says when a, a boy's five-year-old falls down, skins his knee, you know, mom or dad says, oh, big boys don't cry, suck it up. And then by the time they're 50, they're, you know, they're not going in to see their health care provider because they've kind of just been burying a lot of these health issues. So for me as an advocate, it's so critical to get men in, get checked. Uh, for prostate cancer specifically, uh, we need to get men in around the age of 40 for that baseline PSA and digital rectal exam. And then for those high-risk guys, those that are African-American or you know, might have a family history where their father or brother might have been diagnosed, um, they're at twice the risk and they need to be getting in around the age of 35 to get checked. So my, my message is all about prevention, early detection, and when you have cancer, know your options. All right, Scott, tell us a little bit about the organization you're with, the Men's Health Network. Sure, yeah, we're a, a national nonprofit organization and we're dedicated to reaching men and their families across the country where they live, work, play, and pray. So it kind of goes back to what I was talking about before is that us guys are kind of unique creatures uh, in many ways, but when it comes to health, we're particularly challenged. So we're recognizing as an organization that we need to reach them in environments that they trust and ultimately that they're comfortable. So we're in workplaces, we're in churches, and we're bringing prostate cancer information, especially about uh, those 15% of men that are diagnosed with advanced or metastatic disease, you know, it's critical to get them information ASAP. Well, doctor, I'm curious, when we get tested for prostate cancer, is it part of our regular physical? Well, most of the time you should be getting a, a digital rectal exam as part of your annual physical. If you're a, a man who's actually uh, getting an annual physical, which is a great idea. Um, and then the test, um, you should be an advocate and just ask for the prostate cancer screening test. The doctors are are supposed to tell you about the test, offer the test to you, and tell you the pros and cons of being screened for prostate cancer. What would happen if you got diagnosed? How might you be treated? Um, but there's nothing wrong with asking for the test yourself. So we need to be proactive, but while we're getting the prostate exam and screening, is there anything else you'd recommend? Well, one of the things I always say is whatever is prostate healthy is heart healthy. So you should be asking to have your lipid profile checked to make sure your cholesterol is not high. Um, if you're 50 years old, you're due for your first colonoscopy. Um, so there's a lot of different health screens that we should do uh, for your heart, for your colon, trying to find uh, diseases um, before they cause you a problem. That's great advice, doctor. Thank you both for your time today and your passion on the subject matter of prostate cancer. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks for having us.
All right, guys, you heard the message, the three C's, but more importantly, get screened. We'll be right back on Get Connected.